Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to ans answer this question that Gareth asked about importing products into your Zoe CRM. Uh, I sell capital equipment, uh, trying to import my CSV database into Zoe CRM Plus. The database holds information on sold equipment such as the product type, serial number, service agreements against a specific account. I initially thought I could import products, but there is no way that I can see to associate a product to a specific account. And then I tried importing accounts, contacts, account, product, with no luck. So, in, uh, oh, let me save this because I've just been playing around. In Zoa, what you're saying is you want to be able to see, when you go to accounts, you want to be able to see uh, product associated to that account, right, in products. Which is fine, you can add them one at a time. But like Gareth says, you can't mass import. If you've got a thousand customers and you've got a thousand products, you cannot, um, or you've got a, a, a product that person's uh, bought, you can't mass import this product should be associated with that person. Um, so it makes it harder to do quickly the way you're doing it. Now I asked Gareth if, if there's, just one product uh, do you have one product per customer most will have just one product but i do have accounts with multiple products so that makes it a little bit funky too if it's just one product and this for other people watching that are looking for you need to identify one one service to that customer then what i'd recommend it's not perfect is creating a separate module so what you can do is you can go over to set up modules and fields you can pick out your accounts go to your standard and here you can add a new section so i'll, I'll put it at the top just so it, it shows but you can obviously drag it around wherever you want and call this service agreements something like that whatever it's going to be called stick in a single line and call it product name uh put in maybe a date oh well you would probably don't want time dear let's remove that yeah delete and you might put date right um you might put start date put in another one that's expiry date um you may put another single line in that is serial number if it's a computer or something it might be serial number and then if if you have a secondary product i mean it depends how many customers you've got with with multiple products as to you might want to change this to be like a multi-line uh multi-products you might want to change it so it's uh it shows more but i don't i wouldn't recommend that fully for multi-product but we'll just deal with single line single product customers at the minute and save it right so now we're talking how you're going to import that if you now go to back to setup and export data and you go to accounts and export you're going to have in this csv at the end the fields now showing, look, multi-product, product name, product start. So you've got a spreadsheet that you're going to have to link to this account um, where when you import the, the spreadsheet that is for importing accounts, basically you're going to go accounts, uh, imports, or a big button that says import accounts, and you download this file. This is the information it's looking for to import. So you're going to want to associate. So let me be clear. You've exported this file with your account. So these are your accounts. This is your account name. You're going to want to link your account name that you've already got on your spreadsheet with your products to this account name to make sure whichever you define in field uh, you can link to. You might want to link to, there's not really, if you've got a customer code, it's fine, isn't it? This customer code, this customer number, 
link this to your spreadsheet and you know import your spreadsheet data onto the end of this so this would be uh, you know um, I don't know computer uh, start date I'll go put in a date in one one 2018 I don't know exactly the date format field expiry or serial number expiry 0101 2020 something like that right so it would obviously you're getting that you've got you've got a um a list with all your products with all the products in the serial number so you need to tie it to the account and put it on this import document right so now when i go back to import and go browse and click on accounts you want to gonna you're gonna want to update existing accounts you don't want to go and um override anything because you, you might get into a bit of pain but obviously we're going to update existing account uh, field existing so i would put account id if you've copied that 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 document uh, that i've just downloaded and you're using that because the id itself will be better because you might have a couple of accounts that may have the same name so account id do not update empty uh, values okay Uh, fields in Zoho. Here we go. We've got all these, so it's it's happy at the minute. I think the attached ID must be mapped. Yeah, you don't make me map every single field, are you? Oh, map. Oh, apply auto mapping. Yes, auto mapping. There you go. So you can do auto mapping, and it should, in theory, because it's the exact same document. Pick every one, right? Uh, so what's this is asking me one two three four five it's asking me what number this I'm not too worried that's fine yeah if you've changed if you haven't got the right date time field then make sure you pick the right one here right and then next uh, yes it doesn't matter with that uh, add tags for these accounts so I'm gonna put a uh, product added just so I can quickly search them, right? You won't need to put a tag, but if you want to, you might want to put a uh, tag added or product added, but you may not need to, right? So if I go now to uh, wait for it to import, I don't know, let's have a look at which customer I imported successfully. So let's go. Get rid of this canvas field. Add a column. Tag. Oh, did that add? Yeah. So these these ones here are product added, right? So we know that these ones updated. So the they all right. So don't use that tag because it did it tagged every single one. What you can do actually is add a field here that is uh, product name, uh, serial number. And then when I go here and go send in, one way it'll work. Descending, oh. Descending. So here's the ones that have updated. So now when I go to this person, I can see service agreement computer, serial number, obviously you can change it, start date, end date. So that's a way to add your products uh, via exporting the accounts updating the account list with the products you've got and then re-importing them and giving them their own section it's probably not ideal you really would i guess prefer it to be in products uh, but it's a workaround i've seen a few people saying i just need one field for um, certain services and i need to know what services they've got and if you've got multiple products that isn't any more than two or three, you might just want to do product number two, product number three, and add it here. And that way, every time you click in, you can see, uh, and then you can filter to these dates and stuff. So 
Bit of a workaround, a bit sketchy, I know, but hopefully it helps. Keep asking questions in that forum. You know, if this doesn't work for you, keep um, keep asking questions. Ask questions on other stuff, and I'll always try and find you a fast-ish workaround. So hopefully it helps. Cheers for the question. Cheers.